Oh, my breathing's not good at all. This is the first proper hike in like three weeks. I'm still not right. Uh, if I don't get out, oh no. If I don't get out, I won't get fit. So, hang on a minute, please. Hang on. Right, this is where we've just come from. So, I've just climbed that bloody mountain. I don't know the name of it, but I'll look on the map when I get back. And now we're going. So we can either go that way into the woods or I think I'm going to go this way which is actually heading away from home but I know this way I know this way pretty well so here we go speak to you in a bit stunning I absolutely love these woods I'm just in the middle, we're in the middle of nowhere, aren't we, Dees? Middle of nowhere. Just enjoying the fresh air. Right, we're going to look for somewhere to sit and have a drink. And then um, I bought Dees some snacks. And I've got a protein snack bar as well. So I'm letting Diesel sort out where we go. We normally find nice places, don't we, Dees? Hey, got my rucksack with me. So I've got water, bowls of Diesel, got a sit mat. So, sure, I quite like this little space. This is a nice little space in that days. Let's sit here, have our drink. Listen to those birds. So peaceful. I'm sat on a nice tree stump. I'm just looking at all this nature. It's amazing. Diesel wants to get going. He never wants to sit still. He's on duty. He's on guard duty, aren't you, Dees? Checking there's no squirrels coming to get us. Right, we've had our little picnic. And um, now we're going to head into the woods, into the proper dark bit. Oh God, I've got to cross this now. Diesel's fine, he loves water. But I do not want my <laughs> feet getting wet. Oh, that's slippy. Oh, right, did it. Okay, we're getting into the dark woods now. Honestly, it looks quite bright on this phone, but... In reality, it's quite dark in here. Isn't it, Dees? Look. Right, we'll see you in a bit. We're heading downhill, so this is an easy bit. So, we just come out of those dark woods, and the sun is trying so hard to come out. As you can see, it's incredibly wet and muddy, but that was a really nice 20 minute hike downhill, which was easy. Um, so, I think we, we could go back up behind me, but I'm going to try and do a longer one. So we're going to crack on down this path for a bit. And then I'm pretty sure I can split off into the nature reserve. And then once I'm in there, I'll know where I am again. Well, I know where I am now, roughly. Diesel's enjoying it. So we have um, we have a lot of deer. Um, 
Oh, the cute ones are the little mint jacks. They are tiny. Um, but Diesel will chase them. So that's why he stays on the lead. And we also have wild boar. Although I haven't seen any for a while, which is good. Right, so I'm coming to the gate. So I'm going to need both hands to open the chain on this gate. So I'm going to switch my phone off again now. See you later. Right. Time 46 minutes 39 seconds. Total distance 3.0 kilometers. Average pace 15 minutes 32 seconds per kilometer. Split pace 18 minutes 53 seconds per kilometer. Okay, I don't know whether my phone caught that on on the video. I just started videoing and my um, map my walk app came on. So we've done three kilometers. Um, that's the quick way home, which would be another two kilometers back home. But I've decided it's just gone three, three o'clock. No, it hasn't, it's just gone two o'clock. So I've decided that Diesel and I are gonna try the long trail. Oh my God, so I just said, well, I haven't seen any boar for ages. And Diesel and I have just seen two, I think male boars. See, I think they've gone now, but we heard them before we saw them. Where have they gone? Oh, right down in there. They might come around the back of us, so I'll keep an eye out. Oh, it's so annoying as I couldn't get my phone out of my pocket quick enough. I can't hear them, so they've either gone or they've bunkered down waiting for me and Diesel to go. Right, we're halfway up the hill. That's the trouble with going downhill, is you've got to go back up again. Oh, is that, an is that another one? Right, let me cut my... Uh, I think there's a few down there. Um, I'm actually going to get to the top of the hill because it's quite muddy and if the ball come up by me I do not want to go sliding back down in the mud. <sighs> Diesel's having fun anyway and at least he helps to pull me up the hills. So we've seen buzzards, deer, an owl in broad daylight, and it was twit to in. And um, now we've seen boar. But we haven't actually seen any of Diesel's favourite yet. And that is, oh, there's one, there's one. Did you see him? <sighs> Diesel's favorite are what we call squidgies. And they are gray squirrels. We don't have any, um... oh, I'm just hearing noises everywhere now. I'm a bit paranoid now about the pigs. Um, yeah, we don't have any red squirrels here. The grey squirrels um, killed them all off, unfortunately. But yeah, so I need to look at my map. Uh, I've come to a bit of a crossroads. So you can see the damage that the pigs have done here, where they turn all the soil over, where they nuke the ground looking for bugs and bulbs and stuff to eat so yeah my feet didn't stay dry for very long I think I need new hiking boots oh, let's have a look at this no no gently let's see what this says 
in loving memory of Anne. Your presence we miss, memories we treasure, loving you always, forgetting you never. Oh, that's quite sweet. I don't know who Anne was, but hi Anne. I'm gonna have a little sip for a minute. Oh, get my breath back. And then I think we're gonna do down there for the long trail. So it's um it's about quarter past two now and we're in the RSPB nature reserve which is not far from my house um, and the okay, stay still. so a lot of the trees have um, bird boxes and they have numbers on so this is 169 I think I haven't got my glasses on and then there's some more down oh focus yeah, more down there. So we're still heading downhill, which is quite nice. But I know you're quite nice, aren't you, Dees? You're quite nice. I like you. Um, yeah. So I know when um, I get to the bottom, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a climb to get back up to my house. But there we go. That's part of the fun. And it's all about getting some exercise. So still pretty wet and muddy. Diesel loves it out here. He's a bit wet and muddy. He's gonna have to have a good rinse off when we get home. Otherwise my carpet and my sofa will be filthy. Won't it a handsome dog, Hey. So, um, yeah, we're on the climb back up. So there's a beautiful little brook, which I'm pretty sure is called um, Black Spell Brook. And then comes out down there and goes off, which is quite pretty. Um, so I've been chatting to a guy uh, with massive camera and all the super duper lenses. And he's here trying to take photos of um, a rare bird which now I can't even remember the name of so typical menopause brain should have wrote it down I cannot remember the name of that anyway um yeah we had to stop to let two joggers go past us and considering me going up this hill oh, I can't even walk up it so they're much fitter than me um but yeah right so if I'm on the path that I think I'm on, eventually we're going to come to some nice caves on the left hand side. I haven't been here for ages, but just in case I did come past them, I've put a head torch in my rucksack um, because they are quite dark and I've never been all the way in them before. So that's of course if I am on the correct track. But, Pretty sure I am. So we'll see you in a bit. So I've just got to the bench. I know where I am, definitely know where I am now, and I'm on the right track for the caves. So I'm on about 5k, uh, which is about half of what I wanted to do today. So, yep, by the time we get home, I should be around. 9, 10k. So we've just come all the way along this track here. Spoke to another photographer. Um, he didn't really want to talk. He wanted me to leave him alone. Fair enough. Uh, so this is a little viewpoint. It's got a bench here. Oh, there's a doggy there, Dees. Right, let's reel you in. And we're going to sit on this bench. So just having a little sit on the bench. And then waited for that doggy to go past and this tree absolutely amazes me uh, no come here come here how old must that tree have been when it died and i'm pretty sure that is um diesel don't wrap me up 
I'm, I think that's called turkey tail, that fungi. Let's see if I can get a bit. And then the termites are eating away at it. And it's just disintegrating into a soggy mush. But yeah, what a cool tree. And what a stunning view. Miles and miles of forest. Right, so definitely on the right track for caves. I reckon we've got, I reckon they're about a kilometre away from here. And this bit's reasonably flat. And then after the caves, oh my goodness, that is uphill for sure. Right, see you soon. Okay, so we've got to where the caves are. Um, and we're gonna, or a cave, I'm not sure how many caves are here. I've never really explored it. Well, I did go in once, but it was so dark and Diesel didn't want to go in. So, oh my God, that's a climb. So do I go in? Hey Dees, what do you reckon? It looks like it goes quite far back. You don't want to go in, do you? Right, hang on. Might have to tie you up out here then. Let's just see. Um, okay. Right, I'm going to get my head torch out. Okay, we've got, um, I don't know how far back it goes. Oh, it is really wet and sleepy. Oh, my rucksack, I'm going to have to leave my rucksack here, these. It's too, um, right, let's put my rucksack there. Oh, that's annoying because I've got a light on there as well. Shit. It does. No, wait. Diesel. Diesel doesn't like it. He won't come in. So his lead has extended all the way back out to the. <sighs> yeah, but it definitely does go further down. Yeah, I'm not sure that's. I need to perhaps come here with someone else and not Diesel. But pretty cool. All right, just wait a minute. Wait a minute, baby. He definitely doesn't like it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, there's a bit of a step here I've got to get down, so I'm gonna turn the phone off. Okay, so it was, um, I'm still at the entrance of the cave. So it was quite, <laughs> it was and nice and cool in there. It was really damp. Um, I'm pretty warm and <laughs> I've got to climb up the um, hill home. So it's diesel. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have a drink and then start back home haven't got much battery left on my phone so i probably won't record again so anyway i've really enjoyed this walk so far if i don't record again i will do a little voiceover or something when i get back <sighs> oh okay but well, that was really weird because um when i was back by the entrance to that cave my phone uh, my phone said it's bleeped and said uh, less than 10% battery, which is a bit bizarre. And I thought, mm, strange. But um, yeah, I've been recording as I've been going along. Uh, anyway, just got to the top of um, the first part of the hill, and we're by a, a working quarry in the forest now. Um, and. 
my battery is low three quarters. It's not less than 10% at all, so that was a bit strange. I don't know why it did that. Right, so we're gonna go along the top of the quarry and into those big, thick, dark pine trees over there. And then that is directly east from my house. So this is, um, this is the, so we're leaving the nature reserve now. And then, so yeah, they've got an adder there. I'll have to Google what those two birds are. <laughs> no idea. But, uh, oh, I can hear a woodpecker. Yeah, I can definitely hear a woodpecker. Right, I've never, I, I always look for adders because um, I worry about Diesel getting bitten if he's off the lead and he's running around. But um, I have never, I've, so I've lived here five years and I walk these woods daily. Um, I've never seen an adder here. I'd love to see one, but uh, I think they're pretty rare. But um, yeah, so they're the only poisonous snake that we have in um, the UK and uh, although I don't think any humans have ever died from an adder bite that I'm aware of, uh, they could potentially kill um, a dog, a small dog maybe. Um, yeah, anyway, don't want to think about that. It's a little bit on the cold side today. I don't think we'd see any, but I always keep my eyes peeled. Right, so we are, uh, can't really see the quarry, it's right down there, but we're heading along the top path into those big pine trees over there. <sighs> oh, look at that view, that is stunning. I can just see the quarry. You can probably hear it. And there's the sun out on the treetops over there. No idea how many miles away that is. But yeah, maybe we'll get fit enough one day, Dees. What do you reckon, mate? He's not showing any signs of being tired yet. And he's still looking for squidgies. Yes, you are, aren't you? Where are they? Okay, right, that doesn't look like a hill, but that was one steep hill. We're not at the top yet either, but um, when we do get to the top, we will be in the pines again. So this is mostly um, beach and beach. And as you can see up through there, they've actually been planting more which is always good. Um, we can just see the dark pines in the distance. So we'll keep going. So we're coming into the big tall pines. So beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, that was a bit of a hike up here to get here. Um, some more trees that they're planting. So it is three o'clock, or a couple of minutes to three. Uh, so I could, I could go directly home. Or I can add another loop in. My body says go home, but my brain says keep going because I won't get fit if I don't do it. So decide, Diesel, which way we go in. Right, Diesel's decided, he wants to go. That's home. I'm still 2k home. But Jesus decided he wants to go this way. So we're going to stick it out, see if we can do 10k plus. So, uh, yeah, just been chatting to 
the lady with the dog. Um, dog's name's Fern. These are, they're the same age actually. They, they've known each other since they're puppies. And um, we could hear all this crashing in the trees. And she said, um, I said I thought it was ball. And was saying, oh yeah, I saw some earlier. And she said, no, it's a man. He's chopping down trees. Um, she said he's camping in the woods. So, I don't know if you can hear that. Hang on, I've got to turn around because Diesel's wrapped me in his lead. But she said, He's got a tent down there. And that this guy has been living in the woods. Oh, I can't see any. Oh. definitely someone chopping with an axe. Maybe I shouldn't be going to spy on. Oh, Diesel, quiet. behind a tree because he just looked up this way. So this is turning into a bit of an adventure, isn't it? What with the caves. And yeah, so we're not even on the track now. Um, so I've got to try and be careful that we don't come across any adders because they would be pretty camouflaged here. And then I am trying to get back up to the track away from the guy who's the mad axe man in the woods. Oh, Diesel just scared the life at me. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what the hell that was then, Diesel. <laughs> oh, you nutty dog. Right, he's still chopping away. Okay, I think I'm going to just mind my own business and get back up to a proper track before I lose where my bearings of where I am. So... Um, we came over that way, we're still in the tall pines, which get really dark at night. Um, birds are all flying out over there. Right, come on Dees. Okay, hiya! <laughs> yeah. So we're back on the um, main track and the lady in the, oh, I can't remember her name. Anyway, the dog's called Finn. Uh, she told me about this. Well, we could hear this noise when we were chatting and she said that she'd been down over the brow and um, so into those woods there. And she'd seen this green tent and this bloke chopping wood and trying to start a fire. Well. I can't, I mean, my nose isn't brilliant, but I can't smell any fire. And um, I 
certainly can't see any smoke or anything but and i didn't see the green tent but i definitely saw a man in like a red check lumberjack type shirt and um he had a rat an axe so there's an axe wielding lumberjack in the forest um who honestly probably shouldn't be there because this is forestry England. Um, but there we go. I decided it was um, best to stay away. <laughs> right, so it's, um, it's 20 past three. We've got loads of time. I'm not in a rush. Loads of daylight left. The sky is not looking brilliant. But I am dripping with sweat. Diesel's having fun. He's had plenty to drink out of all the pebbles. Um, so we're going to crack on. We're out the pines now. Um, we're going to go along this track. And um, yeah, crack on. see that but there's a couple of people over there and they're um I, I still can't see a tent but looks like there's two people so um yeah that um that bit there that's where there's like a, a dugout where somebody used to camp oh, when I first moved here about five years ago. Um, like a bit of a homeless person. He was nice, I chatted to him. Um, he just kept himself to himself. Anyway, right, so I'm coming down this way because I'm not on a path again, which is silly, but I want to show you this. I don't know if you can see it. So that, is a boar bath. That is where the boar come and have a little rub and scratch on the post and is it a post or a tree? I think it's a pylon because there's a track so there's a old tram line that runs down there. God, it sounds like both of them are spaces like got axes. Um yeah and yeah, I have actually seen boar down there before now. So I do like to come over and just see if there's any around. Um, Diesel's having a lot of fun because he's stripping the bark, which is a bit silly. So I need to stop him doing that because I don't want him swallowing it. Oh, all right, I'm actually shattered. Diesel, this way, please. Oh. Right, so I've come up across another, um, Old den in the. How on earth? Why on earth do they want to carry that? Oh, I mean, we're not near a main road. Oh, that's ridiculous. Right, this way, this. Kids, I expect. <coughs> right, so I need to find the path that goes down to the old tram line. And then, hopefully, oh, I think this is it. Yep, here we go. Come on, these. Oh, crikey. Nearly went flying then. Come on. Right. I know where I am. Oh. Oh, I that was someone behind me then, which probably wouldn't be a problem if it was because it'd probably just be another dog walk or, or a hiker but after seeing that guy with the axe that's put me on them um, high alert a bit not that way come on because you get tangled around the trees all right Whoop. 
Oh, I think I need both hands down here. <sighs> I've just come from up there and then we're going down here. So we'll meet the old tram line. <sighs> so that's, um, that's the pylons. So it's about that. So it's one, two, three pylons down is where that boar bath is. And then some more pylons up there. I know where that track goes, that goes up to the old well. We're not doing that one. Oh. Right, so this is the old tram line. Yeah, goes right down to the ponds at the bottom. And goes up there. And then there's another quarry here. Um, now, if I had the energy, which I haven't, Diesel and I would go up that track and we'd do a loop around the whole of that quarry, which would add another 5k on, which we have done previously, but not since I've had this chest infection, because this has really knocked me and my fitness levels. But I'm enjoying this today. Speed-wise, rubbish. I'd have done, I'd have finished and been home by now, but I'm not rushing. I'm just enjoying it. And using it as a guide for my building my fitness back up. Sun's out at the top. Magical woods. All right, we've just got to the top of the tram line, and then um, there's the entrance to the quarry. Oh, Diesel has wrapped me in the lead again. Right, so oh, it's downhill all the way from now, Dees. Yay! Downhill. I think I need to stop for a drink again in a minute. Um, but I think we'll get into the last bit of... Oh, Diesel's having a good drink. Yay, I need a drink, Dees. I do bring clean water. I always bring clean water in a um, bowl for him. Never drinks it. Just drinks muddy puddles. Um, yeah, so in a minute, I'm gonna find somewhere to sit and I'm gonna have a drink. Last bit of um, track. Last bit of woodland. And I'm really tired now. Really tired. My legs are aching. I've slowed right down. I know it's downhill, but I'm struggling. I'm quite pleased with myself for doing this though. Because like two and a half hours ago when I was sat on the sofa, I was like, oh, I can't be bothered. But I made myself get up and do it. I've actually really enjoyed it. I've loved it. But, oh, I'm tired. Tired, tired. Diesel would do this walk all over again. That's how fit he is. Oh, right. I'm about a kilometre from home now, I think. So, yeah. 
No talking. Conserve my energy. <laughs> Take care. Bye.